I am interested in photographic developments, but at times I am suspicious that the latest improvements are just gimmicks to rescue flagging sales due to the smartphone's increasing dominance. The quality camera market has found it difficult to challenge this upstart, and not all innovations are for the benefit of real photography. However, some developments in camera and software challenge even replace traditional photographic techniques. Adobe Lightroom removes the need to use filters, and image stabilization a tripod. Less is more is an expression about the way we approach composition, and these days it can be applied to gear. I have restricted myself to the Olympus OMD EM1 Mark II camera and the 12 to 100 Pro lens and two legs, which unfortunately are not suitable for public exhibition. Both camera and lens have stabilizers, assisted by two stout legs still capable of executing the function they were designed for, which I call my duopod. In post-production, I use Lightroom to add the magic touch. Adobe Lightroom is fantastic for adding those experimental touches to an image. This is particularly true for pictures of high contrast, where the dynamic range is beyond the performance of even the best camera and HDR. On a more basic level, I adjust my skies with highlight and white sliders, and if six months later I think that the amount of blue I've put back into the sky is far too much, I can change my mind. These shots are handheld. When I commenced photography back in 1959, we didn't cart around tripods. We handheld everything and learnt the correct posture for taking an image. Today, we are assisted by the image stabiliser, and now you can get away with murder. Even so, I am a reasonably fit person, and if I cannot handhold a picture at a two-fiftieth of a second without a stabiliser any longer, then, to the delight of my friends, it is time for me to visit my doctor. Nevertheless, I don't take risks, so I leave the image stabilisers on the whole time. My current combination? that is the EM1 Mark II and the 12 100 Pro lens, and both have image stabilizers working in tandem. Therefore, I can go inside a church and handhold a shot like this at a tenth of a second on telephoto without extra gear. When forced to use the widest aperture indoors, thus reducing depth of field, micro four-thirds give that bit extra. And, by the way, National Trust properties do not permit the use of tripods either, and neither do some churches and major attractions like Sky Garden in London. I said at the start that I embrace technology. But it has to be groundbreaking to change a technique that I have used successfully for years. For example, the introduction of 4K video has transformed my interest in movies, particularly when mixed with stills in a presentation. I am not a clickspert, that is, pressing a button for instant gratification. I leave that to those who don't have time for the true and rewarding art of photography. <laughs>